This Nautilus-like building in Shanghai produces light that is hundreds of millions of times more powerful than ordinary X-ray. It's known as synchrotron radiation and is created when charged electrons moving close to the speed of light in a vacuum change their direction. The process resembles spinning an umbrella fast in the rain, dispersing water droplets along the edge. It's a complex process, and seeing this huge scientific facility in operation is eye-opening. This whole place functions as a super microscope with which we can see the world unseen by the naked eye, with the microscopic precision down to the atomic level. The electrons spinning at the speed of light flow out and become high brightness X-rays. Experts can use them to study the structure of lunar soil, proteins in the viruses, as well as high performance materials. Each of these studies is profoundly changing our lives. Since its establishment in 2009, the Shanghai Synchrotron Radiation Facility has helped to uncover the structural characteristics of key viral proteins associated with avian influenza, Ebola, Zika virus, and notably the novel coronavirus. Using the technology, the structure of the coronavirus protein can be obtained in as little as 10 minutes. When there is no synchrotron radiation, it takes at least three to five days to observe using an indoor X-ray light source. So the increase in the brightness from synchrotron radiation dramatically improves our overall experimental efficiency, saving a lot of time for numerous emerging studies. This facility has contributed to significant research in fields including condensed matter physics, chemistry, life science, materials science, energy and environmental sciences. The research also has implications for our everyday lives. For instance, SSRF has conducted imaging of the rice we consume on a daily basis. It was discovered that the selenium element, which is beneficial to the human body, is located on the outer layer of the rice. So it suggests us that rice should not be washed too hard. By 2024, the SSRF had opened 34 beam lines and 46 end stations to international researchers. Over the past 15 years, it has supported international teams in publishing over 11,000 scientific journal articles and more than 5,000 master or PhD theses, pushing the boundaries of human understanding of the micro world. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Shanghai.